Brandon's room. He's 14 and this is his room. He don't know how to get up and clean up. He has everything that a child could ask for, but this is his fucking room. This is what he chooses to lay in. This is his uniform. He's been sleeping all day. If he's 14 and got everything in the world, ain't no way in the world for me as a mother, he would yeah. be sitting there watching that TV. That TV would be off. I would have unplugged it and took the cord out. He would be cleaning that room. Yeah, like he had. He I can had, imagine what her room looked like. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So yeah, he, he had PlayStation, everything in there. So one of our, one of our, uh, one of our, um, our lovely chat members, our viewers, said it best. She said, she said it. He has everything a child could ask Shit, for. I ain't lying. You're the parent. Stop <laughs> buying him stuff. Pimpin'. Now I'm saying, <laughs> video number four. <laughs> We got a mother that goes off on her 14 year old son for having his bedroom looking like this. A hot mess. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, where my girl at? It's this jump podcast. Oh. Let's go. Brandon's room. He's 14, and this is his room. He don't know how to get up and clean up. He has everything that a child could ask for. But this is his fucking room. This is what he chooses to lay in. This is his uniform. He's been sleeping all day. And this is his fucking bedroom. Can you believe this? Look at this. This is disgusting. Let's see. Oh, Jesus. My bad. Didn't mean to step in the dominoes. Sorry. Oh, is that a slice of pizza on your bed under a pair of pants? Cool. Yeah. Okay. Great. Let's put that on your Instagram, Mr. Cool. Man, that's you know what? That's it. No I need in the my building. kids. Hold up. First of all, is my kids in here? I need my kids to just like step in. Like, hold up. Ain't no way in hell my house looking like that. Wait, was you grinding your kids up for having them looking I like that? I used to have my kids. Let me tell you something. If they if they was playing like with their food and yeah. it was food on my ceiling, yeah. oh, you know what? Uh, I got pictures of my kids standing on a chair cleaning the damn ceiling. Yes, you gonna get that ketchup <laughs> off my ceiling? I ain't playing that. She ain't she no way in hell. the kids like this. <laughs> No. Get that Lego off First that goddamn all, floor. My thing is, is like his room is like that because of her. If he's 14 and got everything in the world, ain't no way in the world for me as a mother, he would yeah. be sitting there watching that TV. That TV would be off. I would have unplugged it and took the cord out. He would be cleaning that room. Yeah, like he had. He I can had, imagine what her room looked like. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So yeah, he, he had PlayStation, everything in there. So one of, our, one of our, our, one of our, one of our, our lovely chat members, our viewers, said it best. She said, she said it. He has everything a child could ask. Shit, for. I ain't lying. You're the parent. Stop <laughs> buying him stuff and allow him to leave his room like that. Period. So I agree right with there. that. You know I that. agree with that a thousand percent. Because yeah, right there, man. you, you want to put him, you want to, you want to put him on blast, right? <laughs> But at the end of the day, you got him all the stuff. That video, I'm pretty sure that that the way his room looked, that wasn't that didn't happen in a day. It did. Oh, so every morning uh -huh. he gets up, or every night that he goes to bed, I'm pretty sure you duck your head in the room, or maybe you don't. And that's why the mm -hmm. room looks like that. So again, at the end of the day, what I the the problem I have with a with a lot of parents these days is they reward these children. For nothing. For they bad. No. For they, nothing. They, they don't reward, get, they reward them for bad behavior. For, or for nothing. They don't even do anything. So the fact that because my children know there's no way in the world that you're going to get a snack, a PlayStation 5, a Nintendo, nothing. If I go in your room and, and look a mess or yeah. if you got shoes all over the place, you have to put the standards in place. Yeah. And if I, you and don't, me, I, you're going to get you kids like yep. that. And again, one, my neighbor, she always said kids Go by what they see, yes. not by what you tell them. So I yes. can tell you a million times, go clean up, go clean up. But if you go in my room, and my room looks a hot damn mess, then that's that they're gonna be like, yeah. "Wait, what?" You now, now you know. Look, I, I look. That's every, why they say kids are sponges. They're gonna go by what they see. Yeah. Look, every morning, I make Gia make up her bed, clean her room, any anything that's out of place. All your toys should be put up, not not on your dollhouse. All your toys should be put away. All your bar your Barbie dolls, your little hair products, all that should be put away. The mother should be embarrassed 
for having her. And then she's going to put this shit on Instagram. Why is she going to be embarrassed? Because at the end of the day, I'm pretty sure. Let me tell you something. That's one thing that I did used to do. I used to clean houses. And sometimes I still do every now and again on the side. However, right? When I've seen stuff like that at people's houses, the parents' rooms always look the worst. Like, how are you going to put your child on blast when you are an ex- he's an example of you? Oh, yeah. And again, yeah. I'm not I'm not cool with the whole put your kid on blast thing because at the end of the day, every kid don't accept that. So, like, you could really mess up a kid's self-esteem yeah. by doing by, yes. or their self confidence yeah. like at the end of the day that's a you problem that's not a that's not a world that, problem yeah, yeah because you need to work that because out because you kids. didn't teach him exactly you didn't teach look let me tell you it starts from let it me, starts look my everything. kids was cleaning up after themselves at the age of three i they would tell you i used to have them clean up after the barney song now yes we we, we going back <laughs> some years but clean up clean Yes, that was the song they would sing while they were cleaning their room. I did not play them games. Wait, wait, wait. Didn't didn't Barney get hit with a freak oh, charge? God. Oh, did, did Barney get hit with a freak o charge he too? Get hit with a freak. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but look. <laughs> I'm just joking. Okay. I don't, I, I don't want to torment want somebody's no childhood. But I, we love you, Barney. But 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 this is where I believe this is where a male figure should come into play. When I was young man, my grandfather, he should be like, boy, don't you get your ass out of that bed until you make that bed tight. And my mm-hmm. grandfather was in the military. So your bed had to be tight when you bounce a quarter off. No lie. So it's come, called hospital corner. He used to come in the room and bounce a quarter off that. Yo, you that joint better be tucked yeah, tight. They call That's how ho- my pop pop they was. They call man. them hospital corners. At hospital corners? Yes, that's what they call them. Yeah, man. You got to, like, y'all got to tighten up. At the end of the day, the hardest job in the world, the hardest job in the world, is being a parent. It's by far the <laughs> hardest job in the world. She is such a liar. Tell so somebody day, yeah, used to sing is a hard knock life. <laughs> and, <laughs> Her. You know what? When I leave, yes, I'm coming to find you. Where you at? <laughs> Listen, she ain't gonna do a goddamn thing. She said, I she said, ain't doing a goddamn thing, y'all. She said, I said what I said. <laughs> okay, you was in there having them kids on the damn, um, on the damn, uh, on the chain, on the chain gang. They was a chain gang cleaning up. <laughs> yeah. It's a damn shame. No, they cleaned up after themselves. It's not like they cleaned up after me. <laughs> oh, so look, I gave, on the chain. Look, I yeah. gave them Gang. a foundation. I gave this them a foundation. Let me sing. tell you something. <laughs> as adults now, and with Gang. my youngest being seventeen, <laughs> they can do they can do for themselves. Now I ain't got to do nothing because they've been doing it for so long, and since they were so young, I ain't got to do nothing. Listen, my, my son, no. my son. I went to the gym on Monday. My son yesterday, he went into the playroom that they have inside the gym. Yeah. I'm coming back to pick him up after my workout. The lady who is in the playroom, she says, oh, your sonny, oh, my gosh, he helped me clean up. Yeah, because he's supposed to. He he know that he can come here and play and make a mess. That's fine. But when it's time to leave, clean yeah, it up. Clean, clean I ain't got to tell him how to do that. Yeah, because I've been training. He only seven. He'd be eight in the summer. He knows when you, when you do something, you clean it up. And yep. again, it's a yep. thing. Yep. I have to tell him every day because he's seven. And he has a short attention yeah. span. Got, got I gotta consistent. keep telling him that's just it's what you gotta consist- do. You have to be consistent. You gotta yes. stay on Facts. top. Look, let me tell you something. Consistency. Let me tell you something. And that's it was, everything, not just cleaning yeah, up. It, it, it was one day. I'm like, yo, where the hell is my goddamn forks? I'm like, I only got like two forks. Throwing them in the trash. God damn, Jim, yeah, throwing them in the damn trash. Throwing them in the trash. I'm like, yo, where the hell is all my damn forks? You didn't tell you me to put what? it in the sink. You just said get rid of it. Yeah, yeah, you got to stay on top of them. Yeah. I don't know which one of my kids, and I think I do. I think at this point I know who it is. I think it was my oldest son. I found some silverware in the what? trash. Boy, children will, I'm they like, will what? throw, they'll like, throw it up. Boy, if you don't catch them, the whole plate be in the trash, man. Yeah, you know, they do not throw them. The trash. <laughs> your whole yeah, kitchen. Yeah, I mean, just your podcast, man. Yeah. Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment, y'all. Tell us what you think. And subscribe. That's right, man. We, yes, had, yes, we, yes. Had, we had video number five, y'all, last video of the evening. Video number five. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. So, T, let me ask you something, mm-hmm. T. Let me ask you, T. You ever no, y'all it? didn't. See, you know, when they hear she Ooh. coming in with the lies, my, my daughter tells them they sung hard, not life. Yeah, That's yeah, because right, they yeah. chose to. Yeah, <laughs> right, y'all. They, they right, was in there stressing. They right, y'all. Yeah, yeah. So, wait a minute. So, T, have you ever dated a man that was sloppy? Yeah. Like a junkie wrong? 
I mean, so my thing is, is everybody in, 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 in not just a man, my father is that way. I know the way that I live. Like disorganized, unshelved. And I know the way that I live is different from a lot of a way a lot of yeah. people are. So I don't I don't judge anybody and I don't put that against them. So my thing is, it's like wherever I can help out, especially like if I'm if I'm very, very, I'm very meticulous. I'm OCD with it. I know everybody's not like that. And okay. I know okay. I'm like off the chain with it sometimes i had to actually like i used to stress myself out when my kids was young i'm like oh my god i'm going crazy because i see a crayon yeah you see a crayon <laughs> in the middle of the floor <laughs> yeah, I mean. but as i got older it was like wait a minute you know what they kids let me let them but yes i have let them breathe a little bit yeah, yeah but yes in terms of your question yes i have but you know everybody lives different so i don't judge yeah, anybody yeah. and i don't sit there and you know look at a person I'm like okay yeah you you too dirty for me so i can't deal with you so no it is what it is like because at the end of the day if i'm if i'm at your house and i'm if i'm dealing with you your house is gonna be clean <laughs> by the time i leave okay. <laughs> can you imagine you boy you you in the bed with a girl you like this hey look you know you don't get this damn lego out my ass <laughs> Shit.